because I also like uh, foreign languages and I like puzzles. So the word is actually not English, but it's something that you all should be able to pick up. And <clears throat> because I like puzzles, it's an anagram. So it is the entrepreneur's anagram. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been in the UAE several years. Currently, I have a company called MENA, M-E-N-A, Middle East North Africa, Cine Finance. It is, to our knowledge, the first media film investment fund here. Um, it's based out of the Dubai International Financial Center, and I am the company owner, as well as a board member and the fund manager. Now then, I don't have, everybody thinks, my, my background is film, but um, the part of my presentation today is what it takes to be a good entrepreneur and how I got to this position. The first letter in the presentation in this anagram is the letter B, and it's for believe. To be an, a good entrepreneur, you must believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, there's no way that you can sell your idea to the audience because they're going to have to believe that what you're doing is something that they want to buy or something that they're going to sell, something that they have an interest in. And the whole thing about believing in yourself is finding something that you have a passion for. Now, my, one of my um, CSR programs for our company is I'm also the chairwoman and co-founder of Women in Film and Television from Los Angeles. And we've been in the Emirates, uh, we started October of last year. One of the interesting things I get to do is travel around to universities and speak to young women, Zayed University, HCT, about careers in the media business. And I get this a lot of times, they say, yeah, that sounds really interesting, but what if I fail? I want to do something, but what happens if I fail? Well, if you believe in what you're doing and you believe in yourself, you won't fail. Because even if at the end of the, at the experience it's not exactly what you had thought it was going to be, you learn something. And if you don't learn something, then you, you can't progress. So even if you have some setbacks with the company that I'm working with, we had a, we had a start with another company, there were some issues, it became, a, it became a problem, I had to change things. Did I fail? No, I don't think so. Because now the pro project that I have now is, by, is like 100 times better than it was. And it was because I learned from what happened. I took a step back and I said, these are things that happened, I can fix these, I can go forward, because I believed in what I was doing. So B is the, is the first letter in, in the, is the first word in the, the letter in the puzzle, and it stands for believe. The next letter is L for love. I'm not talking about personal love, I'm talking about you have to love what you're doing. Because if you love what you're doing, it does become your passion. It becomes your life. This is something that you get up every day and you say, I don't care how long I have to be out there and I don't care how grueling it is, I love it. Um, I love what I do. What I do is at, we produce films and my job at the moment is we have a company that we raise investment for films. Um, I didn't go to, I, I have spent time in the film industry, but I don't have a degree in finance. But it's something that by spending time in the finance industry, I was able to take away p bits and pieces of that, which has been very helpful for what I'm doing now. What my passion is, is I, was, I started out being an artist. And from there, got into the film industry. And so now writing, uh, writing is my passion. But I realized early on that the only way that you get things done in the film industry is that you have to actually be the bank as well. So instead of saying to myself, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a short film. I'm going to work my way up. I'm going to do it this way. I decided, no. I have the experience, and I know, what, I know how this works. I'm going to launch an investment fund. And most people, when I had come up with this idea, thought, hmm, this will never work. But the thing of it is, it is working. It's just a lot of hard work. But when you love what you do, you don't mind put, putting the time into getting it done. So that's the second letter, but again, it's not in order. E, this is, a very, this is a very good one, educate. You should be extremely educated in what it is you do. And I find it very interesting, especially in the film industry here, everybody's interested in getting in film. But if you start talking about the business aspect of film, it just goes over most people's heads. They don't look like what's being sold, what scripts are being written, what different studios are buying. This is your industry. No matter what industry you're in, you should always strive to educate yourself. What are other people doing? What are studios like? So what are they buying? There's all sorts of different things you can do that you can read online. A lot of these services are free. Some of them are subscription. But you actually can educate yourself about what's going on. 
And this is something I think that a lot of people, they get very excited about a profession, especially the film industry, but they don't really spend the time to learn about what the business is all about. So educate yourself on what you're doing. No matter what you're in, to be a successful entrepreneur, you should always keep learning what's going on in your business and keep abreast of what the trends are. I'm going to cheat because it, the word doesn't actually have two E's, but I'm also going to use the word E for, the, for empowerment. This is something that I very much believe in, especially being the chairwoman of women in film. We go out and speak to a lot of the girls in uh, the colleges that might have an interest in media and kind of tell them what's available. And I've been fortunate enough to be working with the Halifa Fund to come up with some ideas about like SME businesses in media. And the thing about empowerment is, is that you learn that, especially in the film industry, you work as a team. If you strive to empower other people, and in my case, young women, um, you learn that not only does it make you better, it makes the, the work a whole lot more successful. Because if you work as a team, and you empower the other people that work with you, you you're, you're at, in the end, the goal becomes a lot easier to accomplish, and you're able to give somebody else the stepping stones to go forward. Um, some of the interesting things that we've been able to do with Women as Film is get behind some women here that were doing projects and help them. We had, we had one woman that we sent to the Berlin Film Festival. This was an opportunity for her to meet other people and learn something about the industry. So it's very important that in your, bus in your business as an entrepreneur, no matter what it is that you're doing, that you look at it and say, how can I empower other people? How can I empower the people that I have to go deal with? In a, in a business meeting, and how can I empower the people that work with me? For myself, it's education. Because I, again, having come from Los Angeles in the film industry, there's a lot of questions people have about how does this work? I mean, it's like, it's very exciting. You go to the cinema, you watch a movie. Um, we're doing a lot of media things here in the UAE right now, but what's the business end behind it? Most people have no idea how, how this works, what, how they distribute films, how they finance films, how do they develop films, how do they package films. This is something that most people don't know, but because there's such a huge interest here in media, again, for myself, it's to empower other people to give them knowledge. If I don't know, perhaps I can find someone else that does know. But a lot of times, because the industry is so young here, and there is an interest, the biggest thing is to empower other people by letting them find out what's going on in the film industry and how this works. So E was the, the next uh, letter in our anagram. This is my fav one of my favorite ones, L is for leverage. That's the other L. Uh, a lot of people call it networking, but I like to call it leverage. And I was actually at a meeting or a film thing at the US Embassy the other night. And one of the gals that was at, there said, Michelle, you're the queen of leveraging. Because I, if, my, my thing is if you have something and you want something else, figure out how to leverage what you have to get what you want. That's a sign of a successful entrepreneur. A lot of times it can be as simple as something as a contact. Maybe you know somebody. A lot of people will say, well, I know so-and-so, or you know, I know someone that's in the government, or I know someone that's pretty high up in a business. And my question is always, did you ask them for help? They're like, no, I couldn't do that. Well, if you don't leverage what you have, then how are you going to get what you want? The thing about leverage is, is that you have to be willing to give something back. So if you say, OK, I'm going to ask somebody for a favor. I'm going to say, you know, you have knowledge that I don't have, or you have contacts that I don't have. Will you help me? Most people, oddly enough, say yes, amazingly enough. So don't be afraid to ask. That's one of the things we really have um, um, the, an issue with with some of the gals here in school is because they really don't feel comfortable asking for things. Ask for something. Ask for people, can you help me? Can you help me meet people? Can you help me with different ideas? This is how you leverage to get to the next level. And our final letter is accept. There's a lot of times when no matter how hard you try, you just have to accept the fact that maybe you have to change the game plan. And on a personal level, that's a tough one for me because I tend to get very focused on something and I don't like to quit until it's finished. I have had to learn that, especially being an entrepreneur and running my own company and my own business, um, what I'm doing is something that's very difficult. Uh, to my knowledge, there really are no women in the Hollywood film industry that have a, a film investment fund. Uh, it's something that's, that's just, it's new as far as not, film investment funds aren't new. It's new to the region and it certainly is new for women. I have been 
fortunate enough to get the attention of quite a few people both in the film industry, um, some really interesting people in the finance business both from the states and the UAE who are now on board in the company with me. But again, it that goes back to the first letter of believe, because B for believe, because I have, I always believe that this will work. And I have an idea of what it is that I want to accomplish. So I've been able to set this in motion and get to this point. So the last letter is A for acceptance, because there have been some road, some bumps in the road along the way. I've had to change what I'm doing. I didn't like it. But I had to accept that if I didn't change it and make it better, that I wouldn't get to this point. What does this spell? Hmm? Close. <laughs> yes, perfect. Bella, Italian, la vita è bella, life is beautiful. I'd like to say good luck to all my fellow entrepreneurs. Thank you.